And we're joined once again by Richie Tebow, the Wildcats Director of Hockey Operations. Post-draft, Richie, you have 14 new prospects in the Wildcats coffers, uh, nine forwards, three defensemen, two goaltenders. Give me an overall thought on what you were able to accomplish here. You know, we're very excited, you know, as a group. The, the staff is very excited with the players that we got. Uh, it's a lot of players that, you know, somebody on the staff was very passionate about uh, that could be Wildcat players down the road and, or some of them sooner. Uh, so overall, uh, we think it was a very productive day and a day that's going to help us uh, win games in the future for sure. We talked earlier about Adam uh, fortier jean Draw, your first round pick yesterday. Uh, today, 13 picks starting with Gabe Smith in the second round. Tell me about day two. Yeah, Gabe Smith is a, uh, is a big power forward. Uh, he's a centerman. He's got a great shot. Uh, he's got a lot of pro potential and uh, we think he can be a very good uh, major junior player. You know, we, uh, we drafted some skill, we drafted some size, we drafted some guys that can be physical. You know, we've drafted two goalies, one from the Maritime, one from Quebec, uh, that we think have, have good skills and have a chance of, uh, of being a, a number one in the queue. So overall, like you said, you know, the nine forwards, three D, two goalies in, in the Quebec League main draft. Uh, we're very excited with the type of players that we got. And uh, it was some of the things we were missing that we needed to add to our, our, our group. Were you looking to go forward heavy or did it just kind of work out that way? It just kind of worked out that way. Actually, you know, we kept looking and say, hey, we got to take a D, but we always seem to have a four there that we really liked. Uh, so we kept putting it off until later in the draft. And then we, we drafted a couple more D, but uh, it wasn't on purpose. It was more like uh, the guys that were passionate about certain players and we ended up being a little heavy on forwards. So most managers after a draft like this will have a player or two that uh, they could not believe they were able to get in a particular position. And I'm sure you've got one of those or, or more perhaps. So if you were to, uh, to, to, to put that label on a player or two, who would you say fits that I can't believe we got him here kind of bill? Yeah, you know, there, there's, there's a few of those. Um, but, you know, our, our staff was really surprised that uh, Superian that we got uh, late in the draft was there. You know, he's a, a speedster. He, he's a guy with high energy, and he's a guy that's going to push for a spot at camp. And uh, our guys really liked him. And when he was there late in the draft, we had to jump on him because the scouts were pretty adamant, take this guy now. Can't believe he's here. Let's get him. And uh, we did. And I think we'll see him at camp that he'll push for a spot. I know one of the other things that uh, that the Wildcats always focus on, and you certainly did today, was character guys. A lot of these guys have real good character. They're they're uh, uh, you know team first guys, shot blockers, guys that'll do anything they can to win. Exactly. You know we want uh, high character, high skill, high compete. Uh, guys that bring everything to the table, but they they got to be good teammates because uh, we want to win as a group, and uh, it's it's for the front of the jersey, not the name on the back of the jersey. And uh, we believe we've got a lot of guys that, uh, that think that way and that could uh, be good Wildcats and, and play, you know, the Wildcat way. So there's a little bit of time now between uh, the end of this day here, the draft is now over, and the start of training camp in a few weeks. What happens next? What's, what's the next sort of step in the process as we lead up to, to the middle of August? Well, for us, you know, we've got uh, the NHL draft this week. And we hope we have some success there with some of our players getting drafted. We got some of our players that we drafted this weekend that are going to the Team Canada Under-17 event next week. And, uh, you know, I'll be watching them there. And then it's four weeks to training camp. So it's really finalizing our training camp roster, getting everybody registered for camp and uh, planning our camp and, and getting ready on August 15th. So it's not that far away. We'll be touching the ice here in Moncton. Very exciting to see a new year is beginning. Richie Tebow, thanks for your time. Good luck and congratulations on a great day. Thanks, Tim.